Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent and we're back here on Pokemon Showdown. I'm going to be using Choice Specs Me with just four attacks right here. I was actually going to run U-turn to be able to lure Hoopa, but I just added a lot of other Hoopa checks on the team as you guys can see, but Aura Sphere right here is mainly for Tyranitar. Ice Beam allows us to go ahead and Oko Pokemon like Garchomp and Landorus T. Fire Blast is here for Ferrothorn Heatran. Not Heatran, uh, Ferrothorn Scissor and Celesteela. And then finally, Psychic can go ahead and blow through Toxapex. The main check to this thing in the tier is Chansey, so I figured I could go ahead and add an SD Mega Scissor to the team, because it doesn't really care about Toxic, and SD plus Roost allows it to go ahead and 1v1 Chansey, which is very helpful. Vitanium Z Torn right here is mainly to go ahead and lure Heatran and Ferrothorn for the Mega Scissor sweep, as well as making sure that Mew doesn't really have to hit Fire Blast against Ferrothorn could be very helpful. Or Sphere does not actually Oko the Heatran, so the Phytanium Z can be helpful there too. Choice Band Landorus right here, one of my favorite Landorus sets to run. We just got Max Speed Jolly and Max Attack. It is our main Halucha check on the team because we can go ahead and explode on that. Spit up Ferrothorn right here, which is our main water resist, our only one actually. And then finally, Life Orb Zero Aura, which I haven't used Zero Aura in a while, so I figured I would go ahead and bring that back right here. And yeah, that's going to be the squad. It'll be down below in the description in case you guys do want to try it out. And let's go ahead and get right into the games. Alright, I got the first game right here, and my opponent has a double on Burden, which I'm actually kind of looking forward to facing, not gonna lie. They're very weak to my Mew though, and I'm gonna lead off with that, because I'm anticipating Landorus T lead, because it should be some sort of lead set right here. I can just go ahead and 2 it KO it with, or just knock it out with the crit psychic, okay. I thought it would be Sash, which is why I psychic so I could pressure whatever comes in after. But I just kind of crit that right there. I mean, that's a very lucky start. They don't get rocks unless it's on Ferrothorn now, which is very fortunate for me. I'm surprised he would just stand right there, though, risking Ice Beam turn 1. Yeah, I don't really understand that part, but... I mean, hey, my Scissor can win now, too. It's just going to depend on the Lele set. I feel like it might be Dual Screens Kogo or perhaps Dual Screens Lele. Probably. I'm curious though, is it Psychic Seed on the Halucha or the other thing, the Hitmonlee? Not quite sure. Scissor kind of walls. Well, this, I'm pretty sure Hitmonlee gets Fire Punch. Is my opponent just not going to... I mean, I, I would definitely be very frustrated after a turn one crit like that, too. That didn't kill, right? Like, even offensive landers probably lived that. Like, let's just get rid of all the bulk and find out. Yeah, so even if I was, uh, even if there were, like, no bulk, it looks like I would not have killed them. Choice specs right here would have done 76 to 89, but it wouldn't have killed them, which is definitely very big right here. So I'll be right back once they make a play. Okay, so Ferrothorn decided to go ahead and come out here. I'll go Tornadus on this as they decide to go right for a spike. Not that big of a deal. What I want to do initially right here is actually go for a knockoff. In case they go Coco, I can go ahead and knock off the Light Clay initially, and that could be very valuable because the Phytanium Z is not going to go ahead and Oko this Ferrothorn anyway. And if they do do Coco, it's a Z Coco, okay. What I can do now is just go out into my Ferrothorn and get up my rocks. Uh, that spike could be bad. I have one check to either of them with my explosion Lando, which is going to be big. U-turn comes out, okay. So if they go, they go Hitmonlee first, okay. So this is not the Zedmon though. Going to go Torn on this. They didn't get an Unburdened boost yet. Maybe it's just some other Hitmonlee and I'm just mistaken here. Okay, let's Hurricane here. I do hit into it and knock it out. So that means my Landorus can go ahead and knock out the Halucha. This thing comes in. I'll go Ferrothorn on this. As a wild charge is the play. I'll go right here for rocks. And then... I mean, my lander should be able to explode. That's not going to knock me out, yeah. In fact, I can just leech sheet here if I really want to. Yeah, that's going to be doing too much damage. And uh, this next turn, what I'll do is just go right for another leech sheet. Uh, actually, I can just gyro ball here. I know for a fact they're going out into the, the Ferrothorn. That's the thing, because... Zero is a safe play here. They go Lele. Scarf Lele could be an issue. I'll go right here into my Ferrothorn on this, just because the Zero can win on its own after the Coco is down. So Psychic comes out. I think I want to go Scissor and U turn. Okay, there's Specs. Good good info right there. Specs is definitely probably better for me. I'll go Mew right here and get try to get Mew to do some work with Fire Blast. I do have to hit, which is scary. 
but we'll try. I do hit that fire blast. Nice. The Coco could come out next. This is going to have to dodge, and we'll find out if it wants to. It does want to. Okay, so, I mean, that's fine. I did crit the Leech Seed turn one. I mean, I did crit the Psychic turn one. Let's see what comes in next, because so, the Coco's going to die, right? Then if Halucha comes in, I just go... I just go Land Raiders and Explode. That's all I have to do. Because I'll take an Acrobatics. So if Palucha comes in, I go Land Raiders right here for the Intimidate. I explode right away, just to make sure this thing is never an issue. They tried to do that, not gonna work out. I go Zero over here to end the game. With the Fire Punch, of course. If I just Fire Punch it, that's going to be that. So we're able to go ahead and win the game one. I don't know how it would have played out if I did not crit the Land Raiders turn one. I still had a Defogger in the back. Would have been interesting, but I'll be right back with another game. Okay, my next opponent here is running a very threatening team consisting of a Salamence. That's the biggest threat to my team right here. But it is very weak to my my Scissor as well as my Landers. Landers in particular has a lot of fun here. I'm anticipating perhaps Metacham lead, so I'm going to lead off here with my Mew. Magnezone lead is interesting because I can just flash cannon fire blast here and probably oko it unless I miss which I mean I crit the turn one last turn so I guess I'll get hacks turn one this time it's fine let's go ahead and see what comes in that would have okoed it I think but it's not the end of the world let's bring out my torn here on the u-turn maybe they'll go back to Magnezone and I can fight to EMZ it that would be best case oh yes get out of there nice so we get rid of Magnezone anyway sucks that Mew couldn't do it but that's okay I guess Pex comes in. I'll just Hurricane first. As they decide to go Landorus here, which is not too big of a deal. I am in range of a Scarf Stone Edge, so I'm going to pivot to Ferrothorn as they explode. Also not that big of a deal. Metacham is the next bring-in. I'll go Torn on this, as High Jump Kick isn't going to knock me out. I can just Hurricane here. Uh, Moxie Mance, is that a problem? Okay, I unfortunately missed the Ferrothorn, which is, I guess, not the biggest deal. I can try to Focus Blast as I do hit that attack. I just defog here every time. Then what I do is I bring out my Zero Aura. I go right for a Fire Punch this turn. I have Hidden Power Ice for that Ments, which is going to be very valuable here. See so yep, how that thing goes down. Ments could try to come out here if it really wants to. Either that or Pex, maybe Medi too. Medi comes out, okay. So I gotta make sure whatever I have in isn't gonna let that thing set up. I'll go Mew on this, as Fake Out's not gonna be able to knock me out. If I win this tie, it's probably over. I do not win the tie, okay. So this turn, I'll just go out into Scissor and Mega Evolve and just... Just a raw U-turn out. Because what this allows me to do now is just bring out my Zero Aura, and I believe end the game with it. By going for Plasma Fists here. They have to stay in, basically, is what's what it's going to happen here. They really can't afford to switch this thing out. So I Plasma Fists to this, I hit in Power Ice Plasma Fists, and that looks good to me. I guess they could go Pex, I take the Life Orb, they bring back Medi, something like that. Once they burn that Flying EMZ, my thing isn't going to be a problem. So they do actually, they do actually want to go this route, okay, so I just Plasma Fists again here. Good Baneful Bunker. I should have Volt Switched. Ideally, they don't double Baneful Bunker. Okay, they don't. Okay, I see the guaranteed win here. All I need to do is... Go Ferrothorn this turn. I go right here for my Rocks. As they, of course, hit the High Jump Kick. Okay. Now what I do is I go out into this. I go right for the Plasma Fists. Knock that out. I have Hidden Power Ice for this. I guess Scarf Outrage could be a problem. And I just knocked it out. So I mean, I had Bullet Punch in the back in case it didn't, but we're able to go ahead and win that game, and I'll be right back with another one. Okay, next match right here is going to be up against even more Coco Lucha Hyper Offense. I'm assuming it's probably Lead Chomp. So I'll lead off here with Mew to take that on. Mew is actually kind of valuable. It could be lead Coco too. I'll lead Landers here on Mawile. Okay, so, I mean, I could Earthquake right away. Could put me in a bad spot versus Gyarados. I have a defensive Mega Scissor. I'm going to Earthquake turn one. Should I just U-turn? I'm just going to U-turn. I don't think you stay in here. Like, that would be a very whack play. I think you either go Gyarados or Serp. 
if they stay in, what am I going out into? I don't really need Ferrothorn, in all honesty. It could be good against Serp too. Actually, Ferrothorn's Gyro Ball looks very spammable here. And it could be one of my better Gyarados checks after the Flanium Z is burnt, so... I think I actually will keep Gyarados here. I mean, sorry, Ferrothorn here. Man, I don't want them staying in here. That would be so weird. I'm just gonna Earthquake, man. Like, you shouldn't stay in, but... Maybe they think they'll live due to Intimidate. They go Garchomp, that's gonna get 2 at KO'd, yeah. There's a choice band Landorus. This turn I can just go Torn. And what I can do with Torn is just go right for a Defog on these rocks. This looks like it's the Rock Setter. Or they can just crit Draco, okay. So a little bit unfortunate scenario there. Hmm. Doesn't the Scissor just 6 him? <laughs> Kinda looks like it does. And, I, I mean, a minus two Fire Blast shouldn't be doing too much. It's Life Orb, though, so it probably has Fire Blast. I'm gonna get out of there on the Fire Blast and get in Mew here. They burned my Mew, unfortunately, so I'm getting a little bit unfortunate with these exchanges here, but it's fine. I'll go right for a... So, I mean, I, mean, I could just really Psychic due to the fact that, that it's actually not a Mega Gyarados. It's a Mega Mawile, clearly, so that's cool. I'm keeping, I'm keeping my Landorus a little bit healthy just because I want it for the Halucha to explode on that. That's going to be one of my better checks. Serp comes out, huh? So I can go Ferrothorn on Serp. As a Leaf Storm. They got another crit, which doesn't do too much anyway. I can go right for a Gyro Ball here. Not quite sure why they double Leaf Stormed. Ah, good maneuver. I gotta go Zero Aura here now, and... Click Fire Punch. It should knock this out without any problem. And they don't really have good responses anyway, so I'm anticipating them to just stay in here with their plus four superior. So now Scissor is my best Gyarados check, which is going to be tough for me. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit difficult for me to deal with. I need to SD up as soon as possible. I think they're debating whether they want to actually switch out here, but I don't, I don't think they should. Like, whatever they come in with isn't going to not appreciate the hit. In fact, Coco might die to Fire Punch plus Plasma Fists under Electric Terrain. I think it actually will. So that could be very cool, too. Okay, if this Fire Punch doesn't kill, I've lost, but ideally it does. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm actually speaking too early, because Fire Punch would put it in range of Scissor's Bullet Punch, and then what do I actually deal with Scissor after that? Maybe Mawile, Lego Landers, Live, I would have to get the Playwright. Uh, that's a little bit of an interesting decision. <laughs> so do I Plasma Fist, or do I just Volt Switch out? I think I'll just Volt out here. They're not going to stay in with this, right? Unless they don't see it winning, which I guess they don't. I mean, I guess they do see it winning, okay. So here I can just go ahead and get out my Scissor. Do I start SDing up yet, or not? They could Taunt me, which is a little bit worrisome. I'm tempted to Bullet Punch here in case they Taunt. But I think I have to SD up. Okay, they go for a Reflect. Nice. So I'm assuming a Taunt would come out this turn. So I'm going to Bullet Punch here. To prevent the other screen. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm not going to 2-hit KO them anyway, which is a little bit sad. So I'm just going to U-turn out here, as they go for a U-turn of their own. Probably to Gyarados. Actually, Mawal comes out. Okay. So I can bring this out here. And I'm thinking just go right for an Earthquake. They have a Reflect up, but this is a Choice Band Lander ST. And I have to get this play right. If they go Gyarados and I don't U-turn, I could lose. But if they stay in right here and I mispredict, I could also lose. We'll see though. It'll come down to probably this play right here in all honesty. They go Gyarados, okay. It's not Intimidate though, so that's a little bit better. I have to go Hard Scissor and attempt a 1v1 here. Dragon Nance, yep. This thing's about to do scissor things. I mean, Gyarados things, obviously. Here, I just go right for a Roost on the next DD. Doesn't do too much at all with that attack right there. I'm gonna Roost up again here. I guess this is where they Dragon Nance again. Man, this is tough. 
I need to make sure that the scissor 1v1s this. If it does, I think I just went on the spot. I just lost because that is a... Con oh, it's Continental Crush. Never mind. I think I live. Oh, I just killed anyway. Yeah, GG, man. I saw this hyper offense matchup at preview. It's just not going to work out. I'll go ahead and forfeit right there. It is what it is. I'll be right back with another game. Okay, I got the next game right here. We took our first loss right there. So ideally, I can go ahead and win this game right here. Let's go ahead and lead off with my... Hmm, so Landorus would probably be the lead there. I'm going to lead off here with Mew. Heatran would actually be good for my... Weakening Heatran, sorry. It would be good for my... My Scissors. So I'm going to Aura Sphere here. As I do a clean 61 and they miss a Magma Storm. That's very good for me. I'm actually going to switch out here, anticipating Torn. No, actually, Zero Aura is the bad play. It kind of kills everything. I'm just going to Aura Sphere again. Yeah, like, I could have done that, but... Like, Zero Aura is not a good play right there. Especially because I can just bring it... Bring out my Ferrothorn here on the U-turn. They get regen, so they're gonna get the Heatran back in, I think. Either that or Rotom Wash. And I don't switch into Heatran, wow. <laughs> kind of surprising. I'll go, I mean, I have to switch out anyway. I'll go Torn on it. They showed Leftover, so I know it's not any sort of Z-set. Yeah, that does a lot, but I think what I can do right here is just go right for an all-out pummeling. I mean, the Protect is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. I'll just Focus Blast again. They actually give me damage on Rotom. I got a crit right there, which is kind of bad for them, but I'm surprised they gave me that damage. I'm just going to knock off this berry. I really don't want this thing recovering later. Yeah, like, they can knock me out, but now this thing is really weakened, and my Landorus just has so much fun. So let's get in Zero right here and just go right for a Volt. I think they just stay in, but I guess they could go Landorus if they really want to. Which, I mean, Landorus would not be the biggest deal. I'm just a little bit worried about the Tapu Lele, but I do have a healthy Ferrothorn. Yeah, it's still at 94. Yeah, so they stay in, which is, I think, their better play here. I'm going to go ahead and bring out my... I think Mew this turn is smart, because I don't want that Heatran coming back in under any circumstances. Lele comes out here. I suspect Psychic's gonna hurt this a lot. Yeah, it did hurt it a lot. Is this Combine Ferium? No, it's not Combine Ferium. So now you have to pick something to switch into a Lele. I mean, a Mew Psychic under terrain. Really surprised about that maneuver right there. So it's looking like Zero Aura can win on its own coming up, depending on what the lander is actually is. Torn has to come out here, right? I can just get in my Ferrothorn here. As knockoff is the play. Allows me to get up my rocks. Oh, they actually have Heat Wave, which is a little bit bad, but not the end of the world. I can just spam rocks here. They knock me out. It allows me to get in Zero right here and just click. I think I'll go for Hidden Power Ice. As Ferrothorn comes in. I don't knock out Ferrothorn, so I gotta be a little bit careful about this and go Landorus. As rocks go up. I'll just Earthquake here. Yeah, because that's not taking my attack. Uh, I mean, Torn can come back out here if it really wants to. I think I'll actually switch out predicting Torn. Slash Landorus. How healthy is Heatran? A38. Yep, so Torn comes back. Unfortunately, because it already revealed a heat wave, I'm kind of forced to switch out here. So I'll sack that off and bring out my Zero Aura. And this time I'll just go right for a Fists. As Ferrothorn comes back. So I'll just Fire Punch this thing. Nice, I get rid of that thing. Life Orb Recall is going to hurt. Landorus comes out. This is probably Scarf. going to go here into my... Into my Pokemon. As they knock off my choice band, a little bit bad for me, but what I can do right here is just explode. They kind of have to stay in. Okay, they actually suck off the Heatran, which is a good maneuver because obviously the... This is a 50-50, isn't it? Because if I get in Scissor on this thing, I can actually SD up and win. Wait, am I choking? If I, if I go Zero Aura and they go Landers, then I get in Scissor guaranteed, so I just go Zero Aura here. As they go Landers, okay. I go for the Hidden Power Ice. They have to be Scarfed to have a chance here.
If they're not Scarf, I think I guarantee the win. They are Scarf. Oh, they're Scarf U-turn. Okay, they got it, yeah. Because I gotta go Scissor and SD up on the miss, which it's not gonna happen. Yeah, they're able to go ahead and win. So my mindset right there was... So had I gotten a Scissor first, I don't think... I mean, okay, I would have been able to SD up. It would have come down to whether or not they switched out and then whether I could actually take on this torn, but they're able to go ahead and win right there, and I'll be right back with another game. Okay, I got the next game right here. We're on a little bit of a loss streak, unfortunately. I've lost two in a row now, but I think Zero Aura has a lot of potential right here, and I think I just want to go ahead and lead off with my Mew first, as he trend leads. Damage on this would be beautiful for my Zero Aura's Plasma Fist, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right here. Zero Aura is the win con, clearly. It can go ahead and knock out everything. I just got to be careful about Mega Low Bunny, so... I don't know if they'll switch out right here, they don't really have a good switch in, in all honesty. If I predict correctly with Mew, it can just have a ton of fun this game too. I guess if they go for Inferno Overdrive right here, that could be bad. Okay, that does over half. On a taunt, huh? Interesting taunt. Bulu comes out. I mean, I wasn't predicting there. I'll go right here into my Torn. And I can just go ahead and... I mean, they would probably go Zapdos on Torn anyway. Yeah, Horn Leech comes out. That looks like it's banded. I'll knock off here. I do outspeed any sort of Magnezone variant, so I, yeah, I was expecting Zapdos. I get Static Paralyzed immediately. Huh. I'll get in Landers here. Because I don't want to take an Electric-type attack. They go for Hidden Power. Man, are they fast, Hidden Power? I'm going to attempt an Explosion here. Okay, nice. I do get rid of that Pokemon. That's really good for me. Especially because I can just go... I mean, they're going to go low bunny, so I'm going to go Mew. Do I live a Dark Pulse? I mean, I'm just going to go Fire Thorn. <laughs> yeah, Dark Pulse comes out. I'm just going to go for my rocks here, as they may bring out that... That Heatran. Is there Aura still at full, right? Yeah, Heatran comes out. I mean, I just bring in Mew again. Yep, and I mean, here I kind of have to make another play. Am I Aura Sphering or not? I think I am, as Bulu comes out. Yeah, I'm not getting this play right, unfortunately. I'm going to go here into my... Actually, Scissor's free. Yeah, on the Toxic, as what I can do right here is just go right for a U-turn. Toxic on this thing, that's interesting. Magnezone is not a problem. Just go Mew here. And I'm actually going to click Fire Blast this time, in case they go back to that. And I'm going to Order Sphere again. Okay, so they are Scarf. That's good to know. I'm hoping they go Heatran here. Nah, they keep on going Bulu. I should have Fire Blasted. This is annoying. Okay, so I get in Scissor here as they double to Magnezone. Good double. They got me there. I'm gonna U-turn here. As I'm able to live on one, which is pretty cool. Allows me to go ahead and get in my Zeraora here and just go ahead and click Fire Punch. Bulu comes in, takes a lot of damage. That's leftover is Bulu too, so it's not Choice Scarf, and that's very good. I'll even be getting re that just gave me recovery. I don't know why they did that. Okay, so it looks like that's not a roll. I should be able to knock it out without a problem. I guess they could go Heatran and try to pivot back and forth if they really want to, just pivot back and forth between these two. It well, appears they're gonna try that. I mean, I just clicked Plasma Fists here. We saw that this was. Okay, they just actually suck it off. Nice. So I get rid of that thing. Lopunny has to come out. Yeah, if I had close combat, this would be a done game. So I can go Mew here. I think Mew should take this. If it doesn't, that could be in a terrible spot, but I think it takes it. And I can just go ahead and click Fire Blast. Okay, it did take it. Nice. So now I think I guaranteed the game with Zerora. Power up punch. Do you have quick attack? If they have quick attack, this could be a different game. Bulu gets sacked off. They have to go back to Lopunny here. Yep, Lopunny comes out. It's going to go for a fake out. So I'll just go Fair Thorn on that. And then hit this with a, a power whip. As they actually just opt to stay in. Interesting. 
So now what I do is I just... And I could just fire punch here too. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. I sack off. I actually go back to this. I sack off Torn. Come back in. Plasma Fist. Fake out. Yeah, I see. I see it. Alright. I just Z Focus Blast here. They gotta like switch out on my para. That's their only win con right here. They gotta switch out on my full para. Okay, because that can happen. I guess maybe Shuriken getting enough hits. Actually, I think Shuriken might do the trick here. Let's find out. Yeah, I've got three hits and they're able to go ahead and win. Really brutal game right there. Came down to just Lopunny being able to sack and they were able to go ahead and come out on top. I'll be right back with the one final game. Okay, so I started out strong this live and then it kind of just went downhill. I'll probably go ahead and play this one and if we do get a win right here, we'll break even and go 3-3, three and three, which could be cool. If not, and I go 2-4, and four, I'll probably go ahead and end off the session right here. Let's go ahead and lead off here with my Torn. Coco lead is not that big of a deal. I have a Ferrothorn. And, I mean, they could go Heatran here if they really want to. Maybe, like, U-turn to Heatran or Volt Switch. But, you know, it's actually I said I want to try sometime. Agility, Poison, EMC, Torn. Just to be able to lure Coco and then maybe go in with, like, a Lucha. Something like that. That sounds really cool. Heatran does come out, so U-turn to Heatran was their play. I'll go here into my Lander's T. Or actually, I'm tempted to go Torn here. I will go Torn here. As I can just go ahead and... Okay, they actually have Inferno Overdrive. I thought I thought that was a possibility, but I figured Landorus was more valuable than Torn anyway. I'll go here into Landorus this turn and just click. I'll just click Earthquake here. And knock out the Heatran, nice. And Landorus should come out next. Coco actually comes out, huh? Is this Shika? I'll live that and knock you out. Even if you're Shika, this should go down. That's gonna drop. Yep, Banded Landorus knocks out Shika Coco every time. So that's very cool too. Mew kind of has some fun. Hoopa kind of has some fun too though, and that's a problem. Scissor comes out here. I'll go Ferrothorn on Scissor. As U-turn comes out. It gets hurt by Iron Barbs, which is kind of good for me. I gotta figure out how I'm breaking through Gastrodon. I guess Landorus would be that way. Hmm. Do I need Mew? I kind of do need Mew. I don't think I need this. I'm just gonna Gyro Ball. As I'm able to live that and knock out the Hoopa, nice. So, we're knocking out a ton of Pokemon, but I'm still kind of finding trouble how I'm going to knock out this Gastrodon in the long run. So, I think they expected that to knock me out, but Ferrothorn is fat. Like, it's kind of too fat, to be honest. Okay, so that knocks me out. I think they probably need a Scald Burn on my Scissor to win this game, or at least have a chance to. I'll go Landorus here. And just go right here for an Explosion, I'm thinking. As they got into their own. Yeah, so I exploded in case that was their decision. Because now what I can do is just go right here into my Mew. In case Gastrodon comes back out, that's not the biggest deal. Because if Scissor comes out, what I can do right here is just go right for a Fire Blast. Gastrodon coming out is bad, but not the end of the world. I can go here into Scissor. In case it goes for Toxic, of course. That's the mindset right here. If Scissor gets Scald Burnt, I don't think I can beat this thing. They do go for Toxic, okay. I can just U-turn out here. Actually, I think I have to SD first. Okay, they don't Scald Burn me. Beautiful. If I SD up to plus 6, even if they burn me, can I win? I think I can. So, I just SD up here. It's going to come down to whether they have Knock Off or not. Man, that turn was tough right there. Okay, so they do actually go right for that. This thing comes in. Just restop this turn right here. I don't think you stay in. You should go back to Scissor. Yep. Now I just start bullet punching it. Does some good damage. Oh, there are Curtis variant. I gotta get I gotta U-turn to my Mew. Yeah, I gotta U-turn to my Mew right here. And I have to Psychic this turn on the Gastrodon. There is, there's no way you stay in with your Scissor. You're going to lose to my Scissor. Yeah, Gastrodon comes in. I do good damage right there. I mean, I have a good chance to get Spidef Drops right here, so maybe I can try to do this, but... I think I lose anyway. Like, I think maybe the way to make this team better would be, like, replacing Coco and whatnot. Oh, they choked. Yeah, they definitely just choked right there. 
because this gastrodon cannot recover now and it also got toxic so yeah this thing comes in i think i just stay in until i die yeah and they tried to go for that um miss right there so i don't know why they didn't recover but i mean hey i'll take it i gotta go hard zero over here to make sure i don't actually lose the curse stall so yeah that can work i'll go for fire punch here and then Fire Punch with a couple attacks should be able to deal with this. If not, I do have my Mew. Yeah, that's not going to be able to knock me out even at plus one. So let's go for another Fire Punch. They're going to go ahead and forfeit, and they're able to go ahead and win that game right there. So we break even three and three. Not the worst, but not the best. I will do some extra laddering off screen because I lost more points for my losses than I gained for my wins. So that'll be interesting, but I'll see you all next time. Later.